Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom. Megatron. I have been looking forward to this figure for months. The original purple Megatron was my introduction back to the wonderful world of collecting. I remember I was working at a Kmart as a loss prevention specialist and you had to go through the Transformers aisle, the action figure aisle, to get to my office. And I remember seeing that original Megatron on the shelf and I thought it was so cool. And I walked past that thing day after day Finally broke down and bought him. He's back there on the shelf. And if you want to check out my video review of him, click the link above. But be warned, that was one of my first videos. So I finally bought the guy. And I remember walking up to the counter saying, yeah, this is for my little brother. So long story short, that Megatron led to all of this. So now let's take a quick look at the Kingdom Megatron here in the packaging. You've got Megatron... Something flew off right there. You got Megatron right there in that plastic window and some more of that fantastic Kingdom artwork. You've got Megatron in beast mode, Megatron in robot mode, opening fire with the T-Rex head. That looks so cool. I love it. I love the artwork. Hasbro, give us an art book. We need an art book. Transformers Kingdom artwork here on the side. Back of the package, you got Megatron in robot mode and beast mode. And that's about it. So now, without further ado, let's get this guy open out of this packaging and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Yes. <laughs> Now, once you get Megatron all opened up and out of his packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions. And as usual, these are very well illustrated and very easy to follow. He also comes with this trading card. I finally got a different one. I've got Optimus Prime on that really cool foil holographic paper. It's like he's got some barbed wire or something right there. Huh. Hey, let's see what that is. We'll peel this back. And it's Optimus Prime floating in space, or I guess that's the dead universe. So, live Prime, dead Prime. So, that's interesting. And, of course, I can never get these back in place nice and smooth. And, of course, now we have the main man himself, the mighty Megatron. Now, the first thing I noticed when I took Megatron out of the packaging is this is a heavy, solid figure. I was really impressed. I mean, he's pretty much solid all the way around, except right there under the forearm. That He's got a very nasty hollow spot right there. But other than that, the rest of the figure is just thick. And he's got this really cool textured skin over the figure, kind of like very scaly lizard-like, which is really cool. He's smooth plastic here, but everywhere you see dinosaur sculpting, that is kind of a soft plastic 
rubbery feeling stuff and I dig it. Now I think it's layered on top of these other pieces of plastic as you can see right there. I've seen other reviewers complain that they're worried that may peel off in the future, but if you're not rough with the guy, it shouldn't be an issue if he's just on display and if it starts peeling, hell, throw some super glue on it. Now taking a closer look at Megatron, great sculpting. I mean, this figure looks like he stepped right out of the cartoon. Look at that face. That is awesome. Great detail. Got a little tiny Predacon logo right there on the forehead, just like the show. Got some painted red eyes, which I'm really surprised they didn't give this figure light piping instead of the paint, but still, it doesn't look bad at all. Now, I wish with the paint applications that gave him a little color variation for the pupils. If you remember from the television show, it kind of looked like he had slits, like reptile eyes. Great paint applications right here along the spikes on the chest, the vents here. Molded details carry all the way down on the legs. He's even got the hip cannons. And down here on the lower leg with the dinosaur feet. I mean, this thing looks awesome. I can't get over it. Now, the one big difference now is the T-Rex head is more based on actual T-Rex, opposed to what we're used to seeing from Beast Wars and what we grew up with. This is a more Jurassic Park looking T-Rex and I can live with it. It doesn't look too bad. Now, articulation for the figure. The head is on a ball joint. It can look up and down slightly, do a complete 360. The arms can do a complete 360 as well. They're gonna hit this backpack. Now, speaking of backpack, it's really not that bad looking. I mean, it's got a lot of T-Rex stuff shoved up there, but it could be worse. So that's not bad at all. So arms can do a complete 360. The dinosaur head arm, the jaw can open and close. It can do like regular mouth and go really, really wide, which I don't like that gap right there, but what are you gonna do? You line it up like that, doesn't look too bad. Now inside the mouse, mouth, excuse me, he has, I'm thinking about feeding him rat trap. He's got a blast effects port. So grab a blast effect right here, it plugs in. So now he's opening fire. So you shut the mouth up a little bit. Doesn't look too bad. Articulation is right there at, I guess would be the bicep. So that can move up and down and up this way slightly. Now I wish there was another rotation somewhere here to turn the head around. So if he's bending his arm up, the T-Rex head could face up as well. I you know, minor complaint. Other arm, pretty much the same articulation. There is a swivel, elbow bend, and what's odd is he's got a fist right here, and there is a hinge that lets the fist flip up. And I don't really understand why, because that doesn't affect anything. Now he has the tail weapon spike, and it is attached permanently to his arm. I tried multiple times to see if there's a way to get that off and there is not articulation for the tail weapon the claw the claw can pinch moving on down to the waist there's a waist rotation the legs up and back in and out there is a knee bend there is a knee rotation and slight ankle tilt and the ankles or the feet can go back and forth so the guy's got lots and lots of articulation and man, I just can't get over how cartoon accurate this figure looks. I am really impressed with this guy. So now let's get on to transformation. Transformation, it's fairly complex, not overly, but what I like about it, it's like you're transforming the old uh, Beast Wars Megatron, but this time it's backwards. And I'll get more of that into that here in a bit. So first thing we're going to do is let's take the dinosaur head and we're going to flip all these around. The yellow section right here, this is going to be the underside of the dinosaur mode. So we're going to bring this up, take the tail, flip this around. Now we're going to rotate this over, bring the pincher section back, and there is a slot right there that's going to match up to that tab. Lock that in. Then you're going to bring these sections up and over, just like so. 
Now there is little tabs right there that's supposed to go in to the side of the pincher weapon. And I can't really get those to tab in. There we go. It's that soft plastic, so it's really, really difficult to get in. So I might work with that here more in a bit. So now we have this look going on. Now on the back of the figure, you're gonna take the back section and unpeg it like so. It's actually a clip, not a peg. These two clips go over this black bar. So you're gonna bring that down, bring the T-Rex arms up. Now right here, this is scary. You need to bring the, or snap this section apart the torso off of the waist. Getting all tongue-tied here. And it is scary tight. I actually messaged a couple of my fellow YouTubers asking if their figure was just as tight because I was worried I was going to break mine. So actually the easiest way to do it is slide forward slightly and snap back. I hate that snapping sound. That's scary every time. And this back piece pops off. Another complaint I have with this figure, this little section pops off way too easy. But pops right back on just as easy, except when I'm on camera. Maybe I've got it backwards. There we go. I think that was it. So now we've got him apart from the waist. You're going to bring him up and forward like so, rotating the head back. Now you're going to unfold these back panels and rotate the dinosaur section around like so. So we've got this going on. So we're going to bring this back. And actually, I did put that on backwards. Snap that off. Put that back on. Bear with me, guys. I have only transformed this figure once. So now we got this going on. We're going to bring these flaps right here. They're spring-loaded. Bring those up and just kind of wrap these around the figure like so. Now with the legs, you're going to take the groin section, if you can get your thumbnails in, and just pull those apart like so. There's double hinges here on the inside. And what you want to do is try to get those hinges out. There we go. Very tight right there. And bring these up. Rotate the legs down. Spin the leg around and pop that right off. I swear, only on camera. Rotate that around on the other side, try not to pop it off. Take these little hip cannons. You're gonna pull these out and rotate them around. You see there's a little port right there and there's a peg on the inside. Rotate those around to where they match up. There we go. Now get the legs back. And I did all that work with the legs, rotating those around for nothing. Turn those back around like so. Bring this back section over. And there's actually these tabs right here, which are going to line up to those slots on the back section. Get those lined up. Take the hip sections here and rotate these around, and then they fold these over the legs, like so. And now comes the fun part of just getting everything tabbed in. And once you get everything tabbed in, you've got a really good looking beast mode. This T-Rex looks awesome. Unfortunately, he's got tons and tons of gaps and panels, but what are you going to do? I mean, it just, that's the price you pay for the transformation. Now, a lot of this beast is really hard to tab together and keep him tabbed together because a lot of this is that soft plastic and it just doesn't hook in great. But that being said, those complaints aside, this T-Rex mode looks awesome. It's got the little T-Rex arms that can move up and down. The T-Rex head can look side to side. Of course, the jaw can open up and down. The legs can move back and forth. There is a knee bend and, of course, the same ankle rotation. 
there is a little bit of a tail wag as well. Now, of course, you can pose the T-Rex like that, which is now the new scientific way. Or if you want to make him look more like the T-Rexes we grew up with, just kind of angle him up and down like so. Though he is a little top heavy, so you've got that look going on. But he is designed to look like that. And moving him around right there, those panels pop right off. And now for a quick beast comparison, here is Kingdom Megatron with his Beast Wars counterpart. Now what I was talking about earlier with the transformations being reversed is Megatron's head and robot mode on the original figure was all here on top of the T-Rex, where the new version, Megatron's robot mode mainly is down here in the stomach. So you just kind of flip everything around. I thought that was kind of a neat reversal from the old toy. Now it's too bad they couldn't have incorporated the water squirt gimmick from the original generation one, generation one, the Beast Wars figure, because you open his mouth, he actually squirted water, which was a really cool feature. That would have been cool added in this one. So there you go, guys. One final look at Megatron in beast mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Megatron with the original Ultra Class Beast Wars Megatron, Transmetal Beast Wars Megatron, Transmetal 2 Beast Wars Megatron, and the lesser known See You Later Alligator Beast Wars Megatron. Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Megatron is a great figure. I love this toy. He's got a great robot mode, great beast mode, and he looks just like he stepped out of the cartoon. I've got a few minor nitpicks with the toy, but it's nothing that can't be overlooked. This guy's big, he's beefy, he's solid, and comes highly recommended. So there you go, guys. Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Megatron. So, does a Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Megatron belong in your collection? Absolutely. Especially if you're a Beast Wars fan, you are going to love this guy. As I said, he looks like he stepped right off the screen, and he's a nice, solid, heavy figure. And that's something Hasbro hasn't given us in the main line for a long time, and I really appreciate that. I feel like I'm getting my money's worth with this guy. I, I couldn't be happier. I love this figure, and he comes highly recommended. So you see this guy on the shelf, pick him up. You are not going to be disappointed. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. And if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. And I got to give a big shout out to my newest members, Curtis Schultz, Kid Toby, and Demon of Cybertron. Demon of Cybertron, you're that guy who ate runabout in Marvel G1. Guys, thanks for watching. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hello!